We arrived in Mallorca and started hitchhiking right away. We joined our hitchhiking ride for a quick okay. walk on the beach and went for a swim. <laughs> the water was freezing, but it was the perfect start to a Mallorcan adventure. We enjoyed ourselves quite a lot and we had a lunch break and did some cartwheels and then we met really cute dogs. <laughs> We walked all the way to the end of the beach and then started hitchhiking along the coast. Uh, we were very lucky and caught a ride immediately and were surprised with beautiful views along the coastline and crystal clear blue water. On our hike along the coast, we crossed beautiful small fishing villages and found an untouched bay where we went for a quick swim. Then we went to Espontas. It's a rock formation in the sea and it's the world's hardest deep water solo route. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning! Good morning everybody! <laughs> Welcome to day two of the hitchhiking journey. Huh? Here is Flora. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> we slept quite a long time for 12 hours. Yeah, we've been quite tired. Now we are at a <laughs> cliff close to Mondrego Natural Park. You slept well? Uh, uh. <laughs> it was quite cold. I think it had like five to seven degrees in the night. Yeah, and somehow everything got wet, but... We don't know how. That's the life, I guess. <laughs> and yeah, yesterday we've been to the beach Estrenk. It's quite popular. And the second was Calo de Moro. That was quite beautiful. And now we are close to Mondrego National Park. Yay! <laughs> Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Here comes the sun. No, it's alright. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Hello. 
After some basic hygiene, it was time to head to the natural park. And we've arrived in the empty Mondrago National Park. Some nice deep water soloing here in the natural park. How beautiful is that? Yana zeig mal! <laughs> nice! Schaut so geil aus! Then we found the ride to Santani, where there is a market every Wednesday. to a monastery hey. and you have a nice view of almost the whole island you can see the mountains in the west the northwestern highland where we're going to be tomorrow and even where we were the past few days after running low on water we finally found Woo! this sign. Oh. <laughs> Ride number nine brought us to Manakor, our final destination of the day, where we went to grab some oranges, which tasted absolutely horrible. <laughs> Woo, thank you very much, Matthias. <laughs> On the third day, we met a German a tourist who took us along and he invited us to go with him on a hike. It was pretty nice and we enjoyed the views quite a lot. After a brutal two hour ascent, sheep greeted us at the top of the mountain. <laughs> On the way back down to the car, we had nice conversations with our German ride. He also drove uh, us back to the main road where he dropped us and shortly afterwards a family picked us up and drove us to Kala Chada. <laughs> right, number 13. A crazy German eye surgeon took us in his beautiful cabrio back to Manacor, where we were allowed to stay another night at our couch surfing host Matthias' place. <laughs> then we met with our mother who joined us on a trip and she picked us up in the north of the island on the beach in Alcudia. Together we drove to Cap Formento where we visited a lot of viewpoints. One of them was an old tower where people used to watch the ocean if there were pirates coming. Then we drove along the west coast on the famous road MA10, 
we made a quick stop at a monastery called Santuari de Yuk. This monastery is one of the most sacred places uh, on this island where thousands of pilgrims gather every year. Then we continued our journey to Suyer, where we spent the night and explored the city center in the morning. Later that day, we drove to a big canyon called Torrente Paraíso, where we went on a big hike. <laughs> the next morning we drove to Sant Elm where we did a beautiful hike with amazing views on the island Dragonera. Then we drove up north, still on the MA10, the coastal highway, and it had amazing views. And after a few hours of driving we made it to the coastal town of Mosa, where we went for some climbing. On the last stop of the day, we went to Caladea, where we watched a beautiful sunset. On the final day, we spent a few hours in Palma de Mallorca before getting to the airport and leaving in the early afternoon to Vienna. Thank you, Mallorca, for having us. It was a pleasure. We'll come back soon. <laughs>